This is problem two of standard AGC9, where if we know the formulas for volumes of cylinders, cil uh, cone cylinders and spheres, we can use them to solve real world and mathematical problems. Sometimes you're not looking for the volume. Sometimes you've give, been given the volume and you have to work backwards to get the pieces. Like it's in this question. The volume of a sphere is 288 pi cubic centimeters. Volume of a sphere, 288 pi. What is the radius? So we're looking for the radius. Let's think about this. The formula for the volume of a sphere, remember a sphere looks like, it's a three-dimensional figure, looks like a ball. Okay, so if we're talking about the volume, the volume is equal to four-thirds pi r cubed. They told us the volume is 288 pi, so let's plug that in for volume. 288 pi is equal to four-thirds times pi r cubed. Well, I have pi on both sides. So can I divide both sides by pi and get rid of pi? See, it cancels here, it cancels here. This gives me 288. 288 is equal to four-thirds times r cubed. And I need to get the r cubed by itself so I can solve for r. When I multiply by a fraction, the opposite of multiplying by a fraction is to multiply by its reciprocal. In this case, that would be three fourths. Now, what I do to one side, I do to the other. Let me show you why this works. I am multiplying four thirds by three fourths. If I do that, I get four down three is 12, three down four is 12, 12 divided by 12, which is one. So if I multiply these by each other, I'm gonna have one R cubed. That gets me down to just R cubed. Now let's multiply three fourths times 288. In my calculator, three times 288 divided by four would give me 216. Okay, so I need to know, I'm, this is r cubed is 216. I need the opposite of, of a cube, which is a cubed root. I need to take the cube root of each one of these. What can I multiply by itself three times to get 216? Let's see. All right, let's try six times six times six, and I get 216. The cube root of, of uh, 216 is six. Six times six times six would give you 216. My answer is six centimeters. That's the radius of the system. We've worked backwards. We've been given the volume. We work backwards to get the radius. Solved for the variable we needed. 